Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man, and it's time to cut the soap that I made Thursday. I hope this isn't an omen to how 2018 is going to be. Started making the soap, and my camera cut off. Started over, went ahead and made it. I went ahead and made the soap, did what I wanted to, and my soap was so soft I couldn't get it out of this column mold. This is what I was going for, and I got one piece that I somewhat saved. This will be mine. This is the look I was going for that I can only get in this column mold, but the soap was so soft I couldn't get it out. I had to cut it up and rebatch it. Even though it was so soft I couldn't get it out of the mold, I rebatched it a few hours ago. This is what it looks like now, and I love it. It's not what I wanted, but I love it, and it's ready to cut. Go figure. I can't. I just do not know what's going on. Went ahead and made a soap just a few minutes ago. My stupid camera cut off again. I can't stand technology that thinks for me. I have a brain. I know how to use it. I don't need technology to think for me, but regardless. I'm back on track, I think. So this is not what I wanted, but it's been rebatched. It's finally hard enough that I can cut it now, even though it was soft and sticky and rebatching. I had to add water to it to melt it down. Um, I don't know why. I really just can't figure it out why it's hard enough to cut now when it wasn't. But let's doesn't matter. I was able to save the soap. That's the main thing. And... The one I made just a few minutes ago, it's just on the other side. We're just It's just over to the left of us with the column mold as well. And I've got it wrapped, so I think it's going to be, and I can just tell this is going to be okay. One thing I do like about this, the top, this really rough textured top, I like that. And I can only get that on a soap like this. I generally do that type of top on my uh, hot process, but because I really need that super, super thick soap, but I can get it on this one as well because the rematch was that. So anyway, these are going to be nice, tall, skinny soaps, and they do look nice and they smell nice. Even though it recooked, it had to cook it in the crock pot. The scent oil stuck with it really well, so I think they're going to be just great. And they look nice. The last time I made this, with this mold and this color combination, it turned out great, but it went through a hot gel phase. And I think a hot gel phase is absolutely critical to getting the soap out of this particular mold. But, because the fact it went through a hot gel, the last time I made it, I had some pretty significant glycerin rivers, which I hated. It just really ruined it. So this one, I did a 15% water reduction, which is, I just do not understand why it was so soft. I just do not get it, and it was, it's been two days. It's been over two days. And then why after rebatching it and adding water to it, it's now nice and firm and ready to cut. Just makes no sense to me. It defies all logic that I understand. But I'm just really happy that I was able to redo it and reuse it. And it looks great. I love it. Even if it's not what I planned. And the one that's over here to the left of us that you can't see right now... Um, it's getting warm. I, it's just been over an hour and I have it wrapped. It's getting nice and warm, so it should be a nice hot gel phase, which should just pop out of the, of the mold with nice, clean, slick, shiny sides. Cut nicely. When I get all this cut, I'll get you into the picture, the full picture here in just a minute. All right, the camera's still working. It's not thinking for me and shutting down. Oh, also, the first video that I made 
wouldn't upload to my computer. My computer won't read it. I think I can get it on YouTube. I think the YouTube software uploading will read it. My computer won't. It says it won't play it. So I'm hoping 2018 is better than this. But the fact that I was able to save this and turn it into a very nice looking soap after all. And the one that's over there saponifying now seems to be doing what I was planning. I think it'll be alright. Oh, then with the dominoes, they fell. Okay, let me just get you into the picture here just a moment, please. All right. So, this is what I was planning. This one is okay. You can see how rough it is where it tore coming out of the mold because it was just so soft and it just was not going to come out. Some of the white smear, another red. This is the pattern I was wanting. I love this pattern that I can only get with this mold. Didn't happen. I had to rebatch it. Usually when you rebatch it, all your colors mixed together. Not very pretty, but you can save your soap. But, this is what I got after all. So, this was a very nice save. Nice, tall, thin, skinny soaps with a nice textured top. The poppy seeds look in nice in it. Smells great. I love it. Here's the one that I made just about an hour ago. Well, I've got a bag on it so the towels on it. This is nice and warm. This is going to go through a nice hot gel face. So this was anticipated. This is what it ended up with. Still very nice soap. Anyway, I will see you hopefully tomorrow or the next day for the cutting of this soap. Anyway, see you later, folks. Thanks. Bye.